been a heart-wrenching day outside the Jose Fernandez family home. Just a short time ago, his agent was there and broke down in tears. CBS 4's Hank Tester continues our team coverage in Southwest Miami-Dade. <laughs> Loved his mother, grandmother. Really? Nice young man. Scott Boris, super sports agent, represented Jose Fernandez, hammered out his contracts, drives a hard bargain, but this loss bites hard. Pitching for his mother and his grandmother, and yet he was such a voracious competitor. I think the unique thing about him was that he would compete at such a um, a high intensity. Boris well aware of Jose's impact on the Cuban community, all the community for that matter. It's so rare that you get, you know, a Cuban born native that comes here and acclimates. He goes to high school, he learns the language, and he becomes just a rare, rare talent. And he's really a model. He's a model for all those who made that transition. The investigation continues into what caused the Sunday morning tragedy that took the life of Jose Fernandez and two of his friends. Officials confirm what CBS reported Sunday night. The boat involved in the crash was indeed owned by Jose Fernandez. The medical examiners have finished their work. Lab reports are forthcoming. And investigators trying to reconstruct the last hours of Jose Fernandez's life. We've learned that after leaving the ballpark Saturday night, he visited this bar and grill in Brickell. The American Social, located on the Miami River, issued a statement to CBS4 saying, Jose Fernandez was a guest at American Social. When and how he departed, still not explained. And from Jose Fernandez's agent, the word that there could be a public event as early as Thursday celebrating the life of Jose Fernandez. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News.